Number two, continue. It skips the current iteration. Skips the current iteration. That is the importance of. That means iteration, increment or decrement, like that, it will be stopping. That is the importance of continuous statement. Let us see it in with an example. For I am taking a first statement. I is equal to one i less than or is equal to 10 i plus plus that means up to 10 i am taking okay i can declare the i okay take it as int i is equal to 1 i less than or is equal to 10 i plus plus okay if i is equal to 5 phi is equal to 5 continue just put a semicolon now console dot right line right this i want to print the values okay so you check it just I want to print up to 10 numbers, even though I am writing a if loop. If i is equal to 5, just continue it. So what happens? Check it now. Now it should print, actually it should print 1 to 10 values. But I have put the, when, when the statement reaches to 5, that is the variable i reaches the value of 5, I am putting a continue statement here. What happens? Check it. Just execute it. You can see here. Carefully observe here, the phi, number phi, is skipped here. That is the speciality of continue. Okay? That is the speciality of continue. The current iteration, it skips the current iteration. Okay? So phi is skipped here. That is the advantage of continue. Next is go to. third one yes. go to go to will transfer the program control to the given label as well as to the switch case we will check it go to will transfer the program control to the given label as well as to switch case we'll check it how it comes go to will transfer the program control to the given label as well as to the switch case okay and label should be defined by the programmer like below we should define the label actually for example like this burka soft colon label we can define the label like this just as switch case label okay like this we can define that label so come here console dot right line you see I like dot net okay
console dot right line I like dbms now use a different case go to I will put a case skip this is my own ca different case okay skip console dot right line I like Java also. Now skip, skip, and so that read line. Well, it is a giving warning that after go to you have written that line will not be executed. Okay, see so check it. Now three statements should be executed actually. I am getting only two statements. I like .NET, I like DBMS, but I like also Java statement is not been executed. Why? Because I have skipped that statement. Go to skip. That means this is a user defined label. Console dot write line. This statement is not executed because it has skipped this statement this whole go, that is the importance of go to ok this is go to actually and next is return fourth one show another example for you for go to with switch statements because I told about the switch for you console dot right line enter your choice one or two okay enter the choice one or two int i equal to convert dot to int 32 console dot read line that's it and for the switch i'm giving it that becomes an expression here if I give it to switch that layer that uh, variable becomes a expression switch i case one I will write this is a label ok case label one one is the label here console dot right line this is first case ok and it is followed it should be followed by a break and again case 2 console dot right line this is second case This second case break without using a break I want to use a go to here that is the importance of go to without using break if you use go to don't use break go to case 1 
put it as like this go to case 1 and uh, default I want to write default console dot write line is any message you can put it inside this is a default case that's it put a break for this break that's it okay so now the case 2 it should not execute because I have written the case 1 here I have written the go to case 1 okay so if you user enters choice 1 choice 1 it's well and good it executes the case 1 but if you user enters the option 2 here then it becomes a problem because here in case 2 we have written not the break statement but go to case 1 it comes the the compiler comes here C sharp compiler comes here it checks it oh go to case 1 so it goes to the case 1 again it displays case 1 only check it if you want execute it see enter case 1 no problem it will be this is the first case ok but now enter the choice 2 so 2 I am entering so it goes to the case 2 now this is second case this is the first case again it has printed the first case it prints the second case even the uh, and and the additional it also prints the first case it also executes the first case ok so it, it executes the second case because we have written console dot write line this is the second case it executes it after that it is also going and calling this method because we are writing, writing the go to method that is the advantage of go to method ok and now the return return method that is the fourth method using return statement we can return the value we can return the value whenever we are defining a user defined function to return a value we can use return statement mainly for user defined function it is used to return a value value ok once return statement is executed control will transfer the out of the method block once this statement is executed control will be out of the method block that means it comes out of the method once return statement executes it comes out of the statement these are the main three points in return we can return the value first of all we why return statement is used means we can return a value here mainly for user defined function it is used to return a value and once this statement is executed control will be out of the method block automatically that is the advantages of the return method ok next is throw next is throw method fifth one is throw using throw keyword we can handle an exception explicitly this is the main advantage of throw method while discussing exception handling both the both these two cases we can see return method and everything ok using throw keyword we can handle the exceptions that means any errors runtime errors exceptions explicitly we can handle explicitly that means user can handle this explicitly ok so these are the these two we will discuss in later sessions return and throw throw will be will will see in exception handling and return we will see that how to return a value for a function while doing further examples we will we'll automatically see that return function what it is and now oh, we have seen the jump statements today in today's sessions actually we have seen the conditional statements if if else if else if nested if in the previous session we have seen today we have seen the switch statements when we will go for the switch statements and what are the 
we have seen some examples we have seen the syntax of switch statement how it will be and uh, next is we have seen the loops main loops for loop while loop do while loop do while loop and for each loop okay so these are the main loops which we have discussed to we, which we have discussed for loop while loop do while loop and for for each loop and uh, next we have seen some jump statements break continue go to and return and throw we'll see in the next sessions while we use the exception handling methods and in next sessions we'll see what are arrays arrays is an important concept we'll see that what are arrays arrays in the next session we'll see this arrays what are arrays this is the main concept there are uh, mainly three types of arrays one dimensional multi dimensional and zagged array we'll see in next sessions what will what are these arrays that's all for today's session